Hello there, this is a short PowerPoint presentation to go through what to expect if you choose GCSE physical education when you start thinking about your options from year nine into year 10. So GCSE is learned about for a range of different contexts and we look at the impact that it has on our performance as individuals and on team sports and others in their lives. So you learn about the reasons why people do certain aspects or things, how people and why people outperform others based on ability. And then we look also at the psychological and physiological aspects of performance. We start to look at the ethical considerations behind certain aspects, such as the use of drugs in sport. And we talk about the use of a poor diet and inactivity that could lead to a potential sedentary lifestyle. Other areas that we cover are anatomy and physiology, which I'll talk about in a little while, movement analysis, physical training, someone's health and fitness and well-being, sport psychology in sport, society and culture, and then how we use data to analyse and enhance someone's performance. So when we look at the course structure, there are four components that we work on. Component one and component two are both examined externally. So component one is looking at fitness and body systems, and component two is to do with health and performance. Component three is your practical performance. Now this is where you have to choose three sports. One could be a team, one can be an individual, and then you have another free choice. And then you also have component four, which is a piece of controlled assessment and is called a personal exercise plan. So if we start to look at our different components that make up our GCSE PE, the first component is based on fitness and body systems. Now this is a written assessment or examination and lasts for one hour and 45 minutes. The maximum mark available on this paper is 90 marks and it is worth 36% of your qualification. Now different areas and content that covers in this part of the course is applied anatomy and physiology. So this is where you look at the four body systems such as skeletal system, muscular system, respiratory system and cardiovascular system. In there as well we have movement analysis which is about levers, planes and axes. Physical training, which look at methods of training that we use to improve performance and principles of training, and then how we can use data and analyse data in order to enhance someone's performance. Paper two, so the second paper is on health and performance, and this is a shorter examination, which only lasts an hour and 15 minutes. As well, the maximum mark available is 70 marks, so it's a shorter mark paper, and this is worth 24% of your overall qualification. Now when you add this paper to component one you can see that that is 60% of your overall mark. And in this paper we look at health, fitness and well-being, sports psychology, so the mental side of sport, uh, the history and the socio-cultural influences that make us take up physical activity in sport and again the use of data. Now both of these papers uh, will consist of a, um, a variety of multiple choice questions, some short answers where students have to expand and give reasons, and then there are some extended writing and almost essay style writing questions at the back of both papers. Component three is your practical performance. Now this is a non-examined assessment which is marked by your teachers and externally moderated. So video evidence will be collated of your performance and a moderator may come in and check our marking by, by looking at your marks on a practical performance day. Now in total, there are 105 marks available for this and you'll have to do three sports and each sport is worth 35 marks and is worth 30% of your overall qualification. The content here, we're looking at skills in isolation. So you get marked one to 10 for skills in a non-competitive environment. And then you get marked out of one to 25 for your gameplay, which gives you your 35 marks overall. Now, when you do your practical performance, one activity must be a team. So football, netball, rugby are some examples. One must be an individual, i.e. golf, swimming, table tennis, badminton and then you get your final choice, which is a free choice. You can choose to do another team activity or an individual. And students must show three separate activities for these. Then our, our final component is component four, which is our personal exercise program or plan. Again, this is a piece of controlled assessment, 
which is non-examined and is marked internally by your teachers. Now, some of your grades will get sent off and they will be externally moderated by Pearson at Excel. The maximum mark here is 20 marks and this is worth 10%. Now, when you add this piece of controlled assessment to your practical, that is worth 40% of your course. So 40% will be practical and 60% is theory and examined externally. The personal exercise program covers a variety of content where you are trying to improve your performance in one of your sports that you have covered. We'd look at aim and planning analysis, how to carry out and monitor your PEP and evaluation and analysis of how to improve your personal exercise program. So what do we expect? So the PE department expects high things of all students that take part in this course. We expect students to have correct care at all times for practical lessons and to be fully involved when it comes to intervention sessions and revision sessions both before and after school. Every student that takes part in GCSE PE will, should, be, and should be required to attend extracurricular activities and clubs. And this includes being available for selection in our cross country teams and athletics teams as video evidence can be gathered and we could use these towards your final grade. GCSE PE is an excellent course to choose if you wanted to go on and study both A-level PE and the BTEC Level 3 Extended Diploma in Sport at our sixth form or another institution. It can also be used in other areas such as psychology and sociology. It can also lead to courses in medicine or physiotherapy. It would also work quite well with the sciences. So if you wanted to go into subjects such as sports science, sports management, healthcare, biology, physics, chemistry, and also teacher training at higher institutions. There are a variety of transferable skills that you will learn, such as decision making, independent learning and thinking, which could be used in any course that you choose to go on and study. By taking GCSE PE, there are a variety of employment opportunities that this course could lead on to. Some examples are sports scientists, a PE teacher, physiotherapist, the elite professional sports person, sports coaches and consultants, sports policy at local or national level, a dietitian, a nutritionist, fitness instructor, personal trainer, a psychologist or sports journalist. Now when we're starting to appeal to students for this course, we are really looking for students that have a love and a passion for PE and sport. They say that if you enjoy a subject, then you're going to do well in it. And this is the case with regards to GCSE PE. I hope that this PowerPoint presentation has been informative and useful and I look forward to seeing you on the course. Thank you.